Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. How we doing? This is Taste Buds from the Toilet, and we're going to talk about all kinds of special uh, foods out there that you see and that are created by all the chefs out there, all the culinary chefs out there that the wannabes and the cooks, and they do their thing. And I tell you, nothing is better than new music when you go to these fancy restaurants and you see all of these wonderful people they're eating food from the toilet oh uh, yes yes my the name is culinary creations Kaka. yes all right yes let me shut this thing off now my name is steve Fook, and i have my friend tonight John Phony. Yes, yes. Now tell us, John, where did what hole did you come from? Well, I've been doing my show and I've been promoting my show. It's the best show there is. You gotta watch my show. What is your show about? It ain't nothing like my show. No, it's about fecal related music from the oldies, the old school the fecal old school. related music. Right. Has to do with well, flat tonight, yes. tonight we're going to talk about the specialities and the food that you see in these fancy restaurants. It's delectable to the palate. It's an explosion in one's pants. Now, <laughs> yes. when you see these special soups, these concocted soups, we wonder where they come from. Oh. I like the soup that's very palatable and very tasteful called pea soup ah pea have soup. you ever had pea soup before i have had this pea soup it's very delicious it goes really good down the esophagus and makes everything taste so good yeah. now the pea soup that i like is the one with toenail clippings oh uh, yeah toenail clippings from just various and wondrous amount of people and i also like the the yellow i don't like the green pea I like the yellow pea yes. because it's more tasteful and it has a little tang. And it has that you, brighter color. It has yes. that tang when you stick it down your yes. throat. And you got to watch my show, but when you're not, you should be trying this pea soup, the yellow colored pea yeah, soup. Yeah, yeah, and you feel it. It's groovy, man. Now, also, when we have these wonderful tastes, you know, you have to be able to smell and being yes. able to taste and smell and have all the senses, have all the senses you can have. And I like the smell of fish. Oh, yes. Not just any kind of fish, but the lager fish. Right, The right. fish that's nice and black, or it could be brown, but yes. it's in the commode. Oh, it's yes. taste buds from the toilet. From the toilet, yes. Now, have you ever gone fishing in the toilet? Oh, yes. Just the other day, I went fishing in the toilet, and it was very lovely. What kind of concoctions and creations did you see in the so toilet? I went to a porta potty on the corner of Jefferson and Johnson Street, ah. and it was lovely because they had construction workers, and they had just eaten some nice tacos oh. and fajitas. Spicy creation. Wow, man, I'm yeah. getting an orgasm just from hearing that. I'm yes. getting a real hard in my britches just from hearing that. Culinary orgasm. Now, let me let yeah. you know. Now, especially from the porter potties, the porter potties, you see sometimes a red fungi, or it could be like a red virus, oh, and yeah. it's just sitting there in the water ready to be picked up by anybody. Now, oh. that is a speciality. It's not made, it's not created by anyone. It's a soup that grows from fungi and dirt matter. 
Yes. 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 And it also, when you don't flush the toilet, uh, it comes yeah. from the odor decay from the fecal matter. You want to get to the toilets, the porta potties that have not been cleaned. Oh, the yes. taste of the red fungi virus yes. is better than also than the COVID. It's almost as big. At least you can't really see the COVID. You can see low in the commode and the porta potties the red fungi, the red. It's almost like a spatcho soup. But yes. the only thing is, it's not cold, it's lukewarm. Oh, yes. Very you like good. that? Lukewarm is the best temperature, yes. Yes. I agree. And it goes so smooth down your throat. Really smooth. Now, the only thing better there, John, is to have it very salty. Ah, uh, yes. Now, you know how you do it when it's very salty? That's the you know how when, when it tastes very salty, it's yes. usually a speciality from the culinary chef himself. Oh yes, yes. Going from his gonads into the soup. Now, none of these people really are going to come out and mention to you about how they create these wonderful dishes. Yes. But what they're going to do is they're going to squeeze it out of their gonads into the bowl. Yes. Now right we're not talking about a there. bowl where you yes. can smoke pot or marijuana. We're or talking, sometimes. yeah, no, but we're talking about a bowl. What about when they get really sick from eating the food and it comes out both ends? That combines oh, both flavors. Now we're now, creation. John, yeah. you're cooking. Yeah. Now you're really, really cooking because then it's a brothy stool broth, yeah. better known as. Diarrhea. Now, yeah. diarrhea, oh, it's not only blood, it's brown. It's the color of the rainbow, but the darker version. The yeah. darker version of the rainbow. It's yeah. brown, black, red. Yeah. Purple sometimes. Purple sometimes, yeah. but it's yeah. the creation of it, the matter. Yeah. Delectable to the palate. It is yeah. taste buds from the twilight. Yes. Taste buds from the toilet. I love to be able to eat the rainbow. What Have you mucus? tasted the rainbow? Mucus is good too. Oh, mucus. Now we can we gotta slow it down because we want to get into mucus in a moment. Yes. But have you tasted the rainbow? Yes, of course. What does the rainbow taste like? Oh, it tastes like everything at once that you would think would be in a toilet. Yeah, ah, very nice. It makes you want to go fishing. Yeah. And in the toilet, you know, you can go to the harbor and you can go to a river. You might not catch anything in the harbor or the river, but you're going to catch something in the toilet. Oh, yeah. You're you guaranteed something to catch something, yeah. especially, John, if that John, it even yeah. rings a bell, John, to yeah, the toilet, yeah. John. When you go to the John, really John, me out. when you go yeah. to the John, John, you go and then. It's good to see when you go to like maybe a gas station oh, yeah, or a yeah. filling station, a gas station, yeah. you know that toilet has been used because you see splashes all over the oh, rim yeah. of the toilet. We're making my mouth water. It's just, just so about. good. Yeah. Now, imagine this, corn on the cob, oh, but not yeah. just any corn on the cob, corn that's already been eaten previously coming in out of the toilet yeah you never know because when corn on the cob it's always there and it resurfaces again for your palate yeah now beef yeah. corn on the cob from the toilet the best ones are porta potties and especially gas stations yeah gas stations oh, yeah. Oh, and then the airport, the uh, the bathrooms on the airplane. Are very yeah, nice well, too. yes, yes, like yes. Flying. I don't fly that much, but so I've heard, John. Yes. Thank you very much for bringing that point out. But we yes. all put it together. It's all layered together, and it gives a brothy taste. Now, yes. you might want to put some sea salt crackers in yes. that soup broth. I like Cajun spices. Some, you like you know, personal that, Cajun the spices? The dry rub of the, of the uh, you know, now, Casey masterpiece. The masterpiece, the, master, the masterial piece. Then you take some sriracha oh. and some uh, 
all that stuff. Man, you just Anything you just you want, but it's but the tasteable, buy, it's a speciality. Yeah. And these cooks and these culinary chefs are not going to tell you that they're using their matter. They're using their matter and they're using their sperm. Yeah, oh my god, oh yeah. what is so good about sperm soup from the special Italian chef? We, we know what he tells me when I go there to his, I say, now, what is in this soup? And what he tells me, I can't tell you what is in that soup, because if I tell you what's in that soup, I'll have to kill you. I don't yeah. want to be killed. No, don't want to be killed. So if you have a female persuasion, you could eat the sperm soup and get pregnant, perhaps. Yes, yeah. but the sperm soup is so good. Now, imagine this, sperm soup, with caspacho blood stains versus oh, versus stains from periods. Oh wow! Oh yeah. my goodness! That now it would be in an explosion coming out of my ears, yes. my nose, and so my good. mouth. A explosion that will make you feel so good. It would be wonderful. It would be a special hour. You know what's good too is then you eat it. And then you recycle it, and you can eat your own. And oh, you're filtering it through your yes, own system. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, it. that's it. Yeah. And everybody loves their own. Yeah. Just imagine, folks, all you people out there can save money and save your coupons and your tampons yeah. and just bleed in into the, bleed into the bowl. Yeah. Bleed into the bowl. And when you go take a poop, you take that poop, and then you'll see that corner of the cob that you ate the other yeah. night. That corner of the cob you ate the other night. And you'll see all the wonderful rainbow colors. And you'll it's see... Even better the first, second time. And the, the second third time, time, it's like refried it's, beans. Well, you know? yes. Yeah. And just imagine the beans, man. Yeah. The beans being resurfaced again. It's, it's a like second that, time that around. cleansing, the colonical cleansing. Yeah. You're just re-cleansing and, and re the smell, cleaning the smell, you enjoy The smell has got food. you at yeah. hello. And your breath will be wonderful. Yeah. Yes. Oh, what did they eat? Wow. That's and you smell breath. it. Yeah. And you sniff it. Yeah. You even hear it. Oh, yeah. You see it. And when you see it, you want to taste it. Yeah. I always taste, taste it in your mouth see yeah. and see an explosion. I'm telling you, nothing gets me more excited to see semen, see semen, and to go ahead and see blood splotches from a period of a beautiful woman. Oh, she can be. It don't matter what she looks like. But it is beautiful. Yeah, beautiful is beautiful better, woman. ideally, but... Any woman's period stains and splotches. Oh, you just don't it's know, just John. Something. You mix John, that with all that feces. You just and don't you know. Membranes and yeah. And bile and gall. Yeah, and man. All that. Yeah. Now, when we get into steak, ah, what steak. kind of steak do you like? Do you kind of some like it shoe leather, some like it red. I um, used to like it shoe leather. Yeah. But I like it red because it means that there's a red in the red in the poop. Yes, yes. See, I like to take the steak. I was thinking about this before the show, and I prepare it in the toilet, like in the <laughs> service station. Duh. I put the grill on top of the dirty toilet seat. I don't wipe it because you get rid of the juice oh. there. And then you just light that up. And you cook it in those juices. There is nothing yeah. like mm. those juices, folks. Yeah, that is the way. Everybody to go. can share their juices in the steak that they're going about ready to cook. You take the yeah. knife, you take the fork, you get the pot, you scoop it out like a fisher's net in the toilet, and oh, then you yeah. preheat it on the stove. Yeah. And then when you preheat the stove, Put a little noodles on top of it to cover it up a little bit, yeah. and then you can have yeah. yourself a shit static pasta, oh, shit static yeah. pasta yeah. with the cream sauce. Oh yeah, all the cream, all sauce, the cream sauce on oh, top. They're necessary. Yeah, yeah. not ice cream or you know sweet cream. It's that special. Cream. It's that special salty cream with blood stains. Yeah, special salty cream with blood stains with or shrooms. And 
shrooms and toe clippings. Yeah, or lactation. Lactation and good, toe clippings. Yeah, it's toe all clippings, good. So yeah. when you bite into that steak, then you know that it's been reprocessed already. Someone else has already had it within them. Well, it's you been take that toe cheese. It's been pre pre reprocessed too. You just pick that right out. You talking you about someone else's oh, toes? Oh, well, toe jam. Yeah. Oh my God, that. man, you're making it's me hungry. A nice lather. God. Meat, a nice rub. You're yeah. making me it's so hungry, salt. John. Yeah. Yeah. I think we yeah. on the same page. I think page. we're on the same yeah. page. Taste buds from the, the toilet. toilet. Yeah. Makes it so delectable. Yeah. So when you want to come and talk to us, you tell us how it feels. Yeah. And I can tell you how it feels. If you want some good cooking, uh -huh. you cake, you cook it from the toilet. Yeah. You put it in the pot. Uh -huh. You make it simmer with water and re eat reprocessed food. Yeah. And it goes someone else's stuff and someone else's food can go into your body. Yeah, and it can Good filter it itself, too, and yeah. you can give it to somebody else after it yeah. comes after you shit it out of your bunghole. If you like those cows and animals, and you want to protect the cows and the environment, you're not wasting any other animals. Waste not, what re not. Reheat it, reheat it, and yeah. eat it. Yeah. And if it's getting cold, reheat it. Yeah, have yourself a banana. Have yourself a. I don't know. Makes me think of that weird Al Yankovic. Oh, but yeah, it's all right, yeah. but eat it and feel free about it because we are here to tell you it's great. Yeah. When you think about it, that's half right, the half the victory right there because it makes you feel good. You're yeah, sharing yeah. someone's waste matter. Yeah. You're sharing someone's waste not one, fecal yeah. matter. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. So do we have anything else to add to that? Because I'm sure the callers would love, would love to know about that. If you like to, if you have a, a moment of telling us something about it, sharing your fecal matter, we would love to hear it. Yeah. If you have a hankering for hollering at us about your fecal matter or your culinary skills relating to taste from the toilet. Yes. It's called. We yeah. want to know about your taste and your, and your desires. If you have a, feeling that you want to share with us, please, by all means, let us know. We'd love to hear your stories yeah, about fecal station. matter, yeah, fecal good. matter taste buds yeah. from the toilet. From the toilet, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we is out of here, We're yeah. Gone. We're gone, okay. Yeah. 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 Joe, man, I'm going to read some Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. How are we doing? And welcome to the gorgeous Georgia. My hair got bedhead. Damn. That does create bedhead, those wigs there. I'll tell you, that does create bedhead. Yeah. All right. We are here, and we are here to rhapsodize and tantalize your behind. Roger, what is going on? I'm chilling now. You're yeah. chilling like, you know, you cut like a cold villain. I'll tell you what, that was, yeah. a, that was something else, wasn't it? That was, that was something else for everybody to see and everybody to enjoy. Now That's we, yes, uh, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yeah, our friend from uh, Phoenix, Arizona. He is here. He's in the back there. He's looking at us, and that's great. He's going to be giving us give us the phone call in a little bit, and we're going to talk to him. I'll be on a different uh, different matter. But hey, mm -hmm. I tell you what, ladies out there, you're sitting there watching me. You get, you know, you're you're getting excited. You're getting really, really, really excited to know and feel feel the presence. You might be getting disgusted by me, so it balances you too well. Well, you know, it's all good. Yeah. Casey, yeah. I tell you what, if you're listening to us, um, you want to give us a call, I can put you on speaker. Casey, if you're there and you have your questions, you want to ask questions, we can talk and get into some uh, topics right now. By all means, let me know. I got to fix my hair, of course. Um. I don't know. Let me know, Casey, if you want to give me a call, if you can see us, if you're watching us, uh, give me a holler, give me a jingle. We'd love to know. All right, what is going on, Roger? What is going on? We are coming into spring. Yeah. And uh, spring is is going to be around the corner here, and I'm going to be. It's going to be very good to get with the with the weather gets warmer. 
you know, because I tell you what, I sure as hell hate this damn cold weather. I hate this damn cold weather. So it sucks. It sucks and rainy. Uh, what's going on? What's going on in your world? My world, well, nothing in particular. Watching the politics and right. the new things going on. Yes, yeah, so we're still waiting for the stimulus check. Yeah. That should be happening here. Hopefully, we'll just get everybody's getting their money. Get the stimulus check. That will hopefully be happening real soon so we want to know about that and uh i think that basically we have people that are viewing us right now we've had three responses uh i will look it up here and i'll get more responses we want your response no doubt about that uh on facebook of course because this will be aired on facebook and later when i feel ready to do it perhaps maybe on youtube youtube on a later later cycle but right now on facebook I have completed and finished my book, what is causing all this, and it's going to the publisher as we speak, and we're going to review it. They're going to look at it. It's going to be a two-week process, so we're at limbo, but we did the reading of chapter one. Did you see that reading yet or not? Probably not. Okay. Well, chapter one, we read it last week. Oh, you? Yes, yes, yes. And so... There you go, chapter one, and that was what we read. Read chapter one is the teaser. So the teaser is already out, uh, and the book itself will be, you know, it's going to be a two-week process to have the, whether the publisher we're taking it to is ready to publish it, and then we're going to have other things. We're going to look at uh, plan B or plan C and plan D if we need to do so, or I need to do so, but it is what's causing all this, and it is the book about yours truly, it's the labor of love, the labor of my loins, ladies, in your mouth, in your mouth like an ice cream cone, the labor of love mm. going down your mouth. Nothing more than Great. nothing more than that. I'll tell you what. Um, other than that, uh, life is good. Life is good and life is going to be great. Um, I want to, it's going to be exciting once, once the book is out of the stands at Barnes and Noble, oh, books yeah. a million. Yeah. Barnes and Noble books a million. It's going to be out of the stands. It's going to be a really exciting time for all. It's going to be on uh, Amazon. We're looking at that, looking at everything. I'm looking at every, everything, every possibility. Uh, so hey, a special call from Arizona. If you're watching us, Mr. Case, uh, give us a holler. Special call, uh, special call from Arizona. Let me know because we'll put you on speaker right now. Give me a holler, give me a shout, and let me know. Or better yet, um, let me see something here. You go ahead with that, and uh, okay, yes. I'm just double checking things out here. Uh, hold on one second. Go ahead and recite the Gettysburg Address Why I do something real fast. Four score and seven years ago, our nation had a problem, and some things happened. Okay. I think that's how it went, sort of. Sort of, sort of, kind of, sort of. Right. It was really short, too. Yeah. Cite me the uh, Charles Dickens, The Best of Times, The Worst of Times. Let's do that again. I think that's where you covered that one. Okay. Huh? That was the most I knew of that one. It was the best of times, and it was the worst of times. It was the times to be had by all. Wow. Ladies pondered and wondered about the the beauty of gorgeous George. And they oh, knew yeah. that gorgeous George was, was ready to come out of the nest. She said, oh, that man on TV gets me so excited. When is yeah. he coming out of the mist? When is he coming in our living room? All you have to do, one hand on the screen, put my hand, hallelujah, hallelujah. I will heal you. Mm -hmm. I will heal you. If all you need to do is come to me, come hither. Come hither to the Mac Daddy. Come hither to the man that is causing all of this wonderment for all you ladies. If you really want to know what is causing all this, mm -hmm. if these ladies really want to know what's causing all this, put your hand on the screen. Ooh, put your hand on the screen and I'll heal you. And give us some money. Give us some money. Yeah. We're faith healers. Yeah. Faith healers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And healing people who are named faith 
and they have hope and charity and chastity because faith hope charity went ahead and grabbed chastity and that was a chastity belt ah. chastity had her belt taken off yeah and then her pants came off right. and when her pants came off it was seven heaven mm -hmm. heaven seven seven heaven you yeah. know I think so. Was, was it? Come. All right. Hey, uh, if we have that special that special call, uh, Casey, if you're there, if you want to give me a jingle, I can, we could do this this way if you want. I'm not sure I was going to call you and let you know, but if you are around, and I want to make sure that this thing is fully charged, but Casey, if you're hearing my voice, you want to give me a call, uh, you can do so. Um, let me know. Let me know. And if the people from uh, the, the Tito from, uh, from from Japan, Tito from Japan, if you want to call me, let me know. And then Mussolini from uh, from uh, Italy, because we all know the Mussolini from Italy. If you want to call, pick up the phone, give me a call. This is an equal opportunity employer. So any of you people out there want to give Gigi a call, we'll talk to you. And we'll give you, we'll recite the Lord's Prayer. Uh -huh. Recite the Lord's Prayer. Um, so we're watching CNN. You're watching CNN. What's what's going on with CNN tonight? What are they talking about? Oh, they're talking about Trump. Oh. And, uh, lost the case and they, uh, they ruled that, Supreme Court ruled that they have to, or they have the right to turn over his tax records. Ah. Uh -huh. Well, they should have done that already, shouldn't they? Yeah, but they're doing it now. They're doing it now? He's lost his protection of being president. Okay. And many lawsuits against him. Right. But he's not being he's not being a censure. Well, he can't be a censure because he's not an attorney. Right. But, uh, but they are planning to, what do you call it, uh, prevent him from running, holding or running for elected office. Well, now that's what I'm going to, what I don't understand now because if they can't censure him, and then, of course, the, Repub the Republicans drop the ball, how are they going to be able to stop him in 24? Because Congress doesn't need a majority, an overwhelming majority, two-thirds, to, to ban him from running office. But don't they need 17 they need Republicans to make that happen? From what I hear, they only need 51 votes in the Senate and a majority in the House okay. to do this. So that will block him from ever running again as president yeah. in 24. Yep. From 24. Yep. Well, that's a good thing. And that, they were that's saying so many Republicans have said he can run, but they're not to endorse him. Well, and but you got the QAnon people out there. They're going to yeah. probably endorse him. You got the QAnon people, and what he'll probably, but he, he can't even run as an independent. Mm -hmm. Fascinating. We'll see how that works yeah, out. He's, 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 he can probably find a way to do it anyway, but yeah. most likely he can't run as a as an independent. Yeah. So that means that he'll probably uh, he'll probably be by, you know, working vicariously through Ted Cruz. Yeah. Yeah. Ted Cruz, you know, is has been channeling Trump. Yeah. Yes, he has. He's been Ted Cruz has been channeling Trump, and he's been whistling Dixie. Yeah. That's another ad. Ted Cruz left. Texas to go to Cancun. Yeah. That was even wild. Yeah. Was, uh, and yet, their, this whole water. And yeah. Energy. The hell with Texas, right? Let's right. it, it, make sure he's okay, right? Yeah. He, he he is, uh, you know, the official, you know, he's the, uh, the officiation or the fish. He's the governor. No. The Senate. The Senate. Okay. So I'm thinking governor. Why am I thinking governor? Well, Senate, senator. Yeah. And uh, he's not giving a damn about Texas. Yeah. I was mm -hmm. the governor. That's all. He's probably above governor and said, you know, probably what thinks he is. Probably. But it doesn't really, doesn't so really, it doesn't really matter. Not so always intelligent. Well, he's, so. he's, no, well, now Texas is a nice, now I've been to Texas. Not all parts of Texas is Republican, even though a lot of the people are there in Texas always are Republican. It hasn't been a Democrat state since Lyndon Johnson. Right. If I'm not mistaken. Lyndon Johnson was the last one or last president before it, it you know, never, never became blue again. Yeah. But um, it's okay because the blue wave is pretty much going through. It's happening throughout yeah. 
the whole the whole country and the whole United States. So that's good for the know that. Um, so that being said, we have that, and uh, so it's going to be interesting to see, Lo, if they do the right thing. Now if they rerun, they're not going to be able to run as an independent, even not even able to run as an independent. So we'll see how that uh, plays out and how that will work out for everybody's or all's concern. Mm -hmm. All's concern. Now, I look at myself, and in case, ladies, if you didn't know, I love myself. I love me. You love me. We love each other. Ladies, love me. I love me, and you should love me too. Now, um, I've got this right here. And I remember you, if you all remember back in the day when we did panty snippers, oh. panty snippers, your woman leaves you, she takes the dog, sues you for alimony, and again, gives you alimode. And you just go ahead and grab her panties. Yep. And you remember her scent. Yeah. Mm. Reminds me of that thing in with Dennis Hopper in Blue Velvet. Right. Ah, wow. Mommy, mommy, baby wants a blow. Wow. You remember that one? Yeah. Yes. Isabella Mussolini, or whatever, whatever her name is. Yeah. He grabs her panties. Mm -hmm. He sniffs them. Ah, mommy, mommy, baby wants to. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, the, if you know the movie I'm talking about, about Blue Velvet, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You grab her panties, she's gone, but you have her scent there remaining there. And every now and then when you get really lonely, you can still smell her scent. Mm -hmm. Yes, it lingers. You don't have to let it linger. That's it linger. Okay. Well, it should linger. I mean, you know, it should because I mean, that's what to remember in remembrance mm -hmm. now if she has if she's a big woman uh -huh. you know they have a tendency to pass gas oh wow yeah and the undergarments are filled with you know filled with uh stains you know like the crossroads you know kind of like mm -hmm. hershey the hershey uh, hershey highway so all the drawers and the panties are filled with you know dingleberries from the hershey highway you don't want to necessarily grab that. Mm -hmm. But then again, maybe, it, maybe, maybe, maybe so. It's according to what you're, what you're, what you're, what, you're, what what's the, might be to the that yeah, and it's just, it's just for the smell. I miss your smell of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's just for the smell of it. Yeah, not the hell of it. No. That's right. So if you're into that and you are, into you know sniffing and hiding your senses you want to hide in all of your senses yeah. then you go ahead and grab it yeah. you grab it and even if it smells bad if you have remembrance is there you can kind of make it smell good yeah. smells really yeah. bad it's full of shite put a little paprika on it pretend ah, it's like yeah. put a little paprika and blend it in it's almost like we're going back to that skin yeah. <laughs> <laughs> going back to that skin. Go back. Yeah, well, you would always go back. Yeah. It's like Michael Jackson and his little kids, you know, they go to Never Never Land. When they come to Never Never Land, they never, never want to leave my bed site. Yeah. So this is Michael Jackson. Come to one, come to Neverland. Because in Neverland, you'll never, never want to leave as Macaulay Coughlin. Or Coughlin. Macaulay Coughlin. Uh, you think he's still there? He might be. We have the remains of the elephant man and also also Elizabeth Taylor's remains and the septic tank. The septic tanks and the, you know, Elizabeth Taylor's remains. Went to roller coasters. So you have the chance to go to Neverland or Dollywood, wherever where you want to go. Yes. Working nine to five. I want to sip those nipples. Working nine to five. Really want to make a living. 
want to sip those nipples. I want to have some breakfast and I want to have my bowl overflowing with milk because wow. I was a bottle fed baby. Wow. You know that? I was a bottle fed baby. So I believed the overfilling the besties with the titties to give titty tatty some milk for his bowl, for his cereal bowl, because I want the milk to overflow. And then I want some of that nice milk in my mouth. Mm -hmm. It's like a horse race. I won with my horse, the Kentucky Derby. Now I want some milk. I want milk to splash all over my face. Oh, yeah. That's all I want is some milk. Mm. Bowl of milk. It does the body good. It does milk. the body freaking good. Yeah. Now, I want to say very milk consuming. The milk drinking, the commercial. What's that now? The eighties commercial. No. Said, Harry Johnson's a milk drinker. Brian. Tell. Brian. You know, I don't know how they could tell. These commercials, man. These commercials. These old commercials. I like the the bubbles that go down the commode. They work hard, so you don't have to. The scrubbing. The bubble. scrubbing yeah. bubbles. The they work bubble. hard, so you don't have to. Yeah. Imagine this. Now you're just sitting there, and all of a sudden, you know, you're just you're doing your business. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you feel these bubbles, these bristling bubbles, crawling up your crotch. What in the hell is going on? And you're trying to do your business in a public bathroom, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, you see these bristles, these scrubbing bristles going around your crotch, and around your going around your orifice and your hole, and you're wondering what the hell. But they they work hard, so you don't have to. Yeah, no way. <laughs> have to read, read. All right, we want comments. I don't see any comments at all. I see we see one person that's watching. Then come on, we know who that is. But come on now, don't be shy. It's like come into the carnival. You yeah. see the clown up there? Oh, mm -hmm. I'm just like Bozo the clown. Now yeah. you see me sitting up there, and you want to dunk me, right? You want to throw that ski ball or that ball and just throw it out there and watch me go in the water. Well, I'm Bozo, and this is Ronald. Mm. Yeah. And just imagine this. We're clowns. Yeah. So take that ball and make us make us dive in the water. Make us do that. Mm. Um, anyway, so I don't know. It's, uh, it's one of those things. But I like to tell you, though, by seeing me on camera, it gives it more reception, more reception. It makes the brightness of your tube, whether it be a picture tube or TV, or the brightness of your of your uh, video camera or your computer. If you're watching me on Facebook live, just the sight of the me, just the sight of the beauty of me makes mm. your computer very bright yeah, because it gives yeah. you ladies excitement and there's nothing like excitement you got to have some excitement so do you think they should put their themselves really close to the speaker and feel the vibration yes this is like, just like the howard stern movie yeah. like howard stern yeah. and private parts you, oh, yeah. you remember you that don't you howard yeah. stern and private parts yeah. Go, blah, 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 blah. Ooh. And I go, blah, 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 yeah. Ooh. And she feels the blah, 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 blah. Oh. And you feel, it feels very orgasmic. Blah, 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 yeah. And orgasmic, it goes through. It's just a wonderful thing. Yeah. It sounds pretty fishy. <laughs> fishy suave. Um. Anyway, ladies out there, Bahamas trip, we would love to know about it. If you want to go to the Bahamas, COVID be damn. Let me know. Send me a PM and we'll talk about it. I've had other people out there that were interested about doing the trip to the Bahamas with Gigi. Leave your significant other, push them aside. If you're married, you're welcome to come to. I don't care. No special request. No special notice. If you're married, push it. Push that. Push your hubby aside. 
the yeah. trip to go to the Bahamas, the trip to go with Gigi to the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. It is a wonderful thing. Yeah. Okay, sipping some pina coladas. If you like pina colada, getting a, <laughs> like pina colada. Well, if you do, I'm the man for hire because we can escape. I think it was a song once we called that, right? Was it? Yeah. Was it, it was Rupert Holmes. Right. If you like pina colada, getting caught in the rain, I'm not in for some. Okay, anyway, I got to. And you know what? I'm, I'm, I am I'm have to play it because it, it gives me memories. It gives me memories. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's just, you know, it's just remembering the song. I might just go ahead and sing with it, too, you know? Like, this is, there we go. Why not? Why not? Here, here, here. All right, let's go to the last one. I was tired of my lady. We didn't gather too long. Just like a worn-out recording of a favorite song. Now she stays there sleeping with a paper in bed. Mm -hmm. I saw the personal columns. I saw this letter in her life. Right around that if you like my penis in your mouth, okay. like they come in your mouth, if you like me to feel you all over, all you gotta do is come. I'm not talking about tofu in the clips of your cave. I'm the man that you're looking for. Come with me and escape to the Bahamas. Yeah. Go with Jordan. Go with Ted Cruz. Go with Jordan. I'll play the piano. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a lady. Sounds scattered me. With just me and my old lady. We're into the same old routine. When I put it in the paper. To add a personal ad. And if I know I'm nobody's poet, I thought it wasn't half bad. If you like my penis in your mouth, you want to go down harder. And I'm the man that you look for. Come with me and escape. I want to put my head on the screen and make you go, ooh. And all you need to do is write me, and I will tell you how it feels. All right. You got enough of that in? Well, I could go on for hours with that, man. Come on now. Yes. Great, great, great yeah. tune. We mm. call it call it an extra filler, an extra pie filler. Uh -huh. Fill it up. All right, hey, listen, we've got two viewers. We've got three viewers. We want more viewers. So listen to me. Listen to the words that come out of my mouth. Boys and girls, I'm going to teach you a few words. It's gorgeous George's neighborhood. And I, lady, yeah. and boys and girls out there, I want you to listen and listen to me. Now, biatch. Say it with me, boys and girls. Biage. That's kind of when someone is banging on your door when you want to be left the F alone. When you got the Jehovah's Witnesses coming to your door and they want to tell you about Jesus and you already know about Jesus, Jesus, and you want to know about the Jehovah, the Jehovah's himself. What you do is you don't listen to them. You tell them, go away and never come back. And then they bang on your door again. They go bang, 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 bang. And you tell them, look, get away before I go ahead and mix you. Then you concoct a loving pie. You uh -huh. think it's out of pumpkin. Uh -huh. You open the door and say, hey, look, I'm so sorry for cussing you out. But here, you know, it's my neighborhood. And even though you are a biatch. Yeah. I took the time to 
fix you a pumpkin pie right. so you can go ahead and take it. And it's not just any pumpkin pie. It's pumpkin pie that has been prepared by loving hands. Oh. It's pumpkin pie oh, that's yeah. been prepared yeah. Yeah. for people that have sat on the commode and uh -huh. prepared their duty their to their duty and they just uh -huh. want to give it to the jehovahness right and then they never come they're back giving again you, they're giving you shit yeah. you, know, you give them shit, shit back. back yeah but with graham crust a graham uh -huh. crust yeah and they never will come back because they will cuss you the day together that as the day is long they'll cuss you the day is long and you will have proven to them that they need to never come back so boys and girls, biatch, biatch. Now, boys and girls, I have another one for you. Rubbers, rubbers. Some of you people out there, if your daddy would have worn one, you wouldn't be here. Right. If your daddy would have worn a rubber, you wouldn't be here. Rubbers, 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 rubbers. Your dad should have used one. Yeah, he should have used one. All right. Uh, I'm going to look here, and uh, we're going to just, uh... okay, cool. Well, so what's going on, uh, Raj? Are you uh, are you having a bad hair day? What's going on? I'm having a bad hair day, too, actually. I'm having a bad hair day myself, you know? It's laying on the yeah, side. I don't, I, I don't like when my hair lays to the side. Yeah. I like my hair, you know, no, yeah. no, no part. Yeah. No part, just have it laid like Mo Fine. Yeah. You know, yeah, uh, yeah you know, yeah. I got, I got the great spot going on, but just have it laid in bangs, just like Mo Fine. Mo Fine. Yeah, yeah. my favorite stooge, by the way. Mo Was it Mo Howard? All right, well, and then I, I should know this, but tell me now. So, so Mo and Curly were brothers, right? I think so. Okay. Two okay. Mo so and Curly were brothers. Very yeah, well, Larry had no hair. I mean, Larry had no hair. He was losing hair. And, of course, Shemp was, uh, well, actually, it was Mo, Shemp, and Curly. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then Roy, Joe Curly. Joe Curly. Yeah. Um, Rush Limbaugh is dead. Dead. Yeah, they say that if you can't speak nice of someone when they die, they don't speak nothing. Don't speak at all. And we did our pot shots at Rush. We know that Rush is a horse's ass. But we will say this, if you can't speak good about the dead, you don't say anything at all. And even though, like I said, Rush was a horse's ass, because we know he's a horse's ass. That's a bad way of going. Yeah. That was a bad way of going. So hopefully he's not in hell. Hopefully he's uh, in between. We know he's not in we know he's not in heaven. We know he's not in heaven, but hope but hopefully he's not in hell. We hope so. Well not. And we give him, you know maybe he's in between with Hitler and uh, Mussolini. Yeah. It's not there with Hitler or Mussolini, probably. Yeah, very possible. Um, so, that being said, uh, hey, it's 40, 47 minutes. And, uh, we're looking good. I'm looking good. Everybody's looking good. I know that. You know that. We all know that. Bob Dole's not doing too good right now. Bob, Bob Dole's ready to kick the bucket. Bob Dole's ready to kick the bucket. So, you know, we, but 97 years old, that's a ripe old age, I think, huh? Yeah. 97 years old, that's a ripe old age. All right, um, what else can we say? You know, it's beautiful. It's uh, it's beautiful to see me on camera. It's very beautiful to see me on camera, and I wish you all would uh, request to see more of me. Mm. Request to see more of me. I'm like a vanilla ice cream cone ladies going down your mouth on a hot summer day. You want a vanilla, a vanilla ice cream cone? Right here, ladies. Going down your mouth on a hot summer day. Something to look forward to when it starts getting warmer. Something to look to when it gets really warm. Um, I don't know. That was good. I think we are running out of topics. Well, I, I never run out of topics, man. I could sit at this camera, uh, Roger, and not say a word. And then look at the camera and pretty much know that be entertaining the people just by looking at the camera. Not saying a word. Yeah, I think so. I think that's that's a good way of living. Not saying a word for what twenty five years at times. Well, no, I man, listen here. I speak, I speak in volumes, man. But at times you didn't say a word, and it still worked. Well, if I'm good. not speaking, yes, I get the gist of what you're. I guess I get where you're going. Yeah. 
but it did whether I speak or don't speak, it's still there. It's still there. It's still entertaining to the masses. Mm -hmm. On a serious level, I do this because I do it because I want to do it. And I do it because I can. Yeah. I don't give yeah. in to terrorists. Yeah. I give in to me. I yeah. do it for my thrill. I do it for my amusement. Right. I don't give in to terrorists. Yeah. You don't like what I say. You don't like me. Then don't watch me. Yeah. But if you love me, as Cheap Trick once said, I want you to want me. I want you to love me. And that's the way it should be. Uh -huh. One Mona Lisa. We're gonna we're gonna cut it down here. One leading tower of Pisa, and only one gorgeous George. We're gonna be back. We're gonna be back like the River Phoenix. I'm gonna be back like the Phoenix. I will spoon feed you, ladies. I will give you the best. I'm the man for hire. I will spoon feed you. I will take you into the in the. I will take you into the planet of your choice. When Mars, when we're able to breathe in Mars, let's go to Mars. Let's explore Mars. But let's do one thing, ladies. The Bahama trip. If you want to go to the Bahamas with Gigi, if you're dying to go to the Bahamas with Gigi in the next few months, let's do it. No hesitation. Say, George, Gigi, I want to go to the Bahamas with you. And if you give me a nice little letter and show me how bad you want to go, then we will go to the Bahamas and have fun eating the fruits, even, even eating the forbidden fruits that the serpent had told Eve to tempt Adam with. You can tempt me with that for unforbidden fruit. One Mona Lisa, one leaning tower of Pisa, and only one. Gorgeous George. George. I will talk to you manana. I'll talk to you later. later. I'll talk to you with Ooh. a forked tongue. I will talk to you in tongues. I will talk to you. I will talk to you in the most sweetest ways of talking. And the sweetest Ooh. taboo. I will talk to you because I am a smooth operator. All right. Later. <laughs>